the reason most people do not sacrifice it, besides being lazy, you know what I mean? Because that's basically it. But besides being lazy, it's it's because of what other people think. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? Like that's why people don't sacrifice or don't do what they need to do. It's only because of what other people fucking think. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, you already know, if you're tuning in on Monday, it's Monday Motivation. You know, as I said that, I just realized uh, some of you guys watch this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can watch this anytime. In fact, I'm, I put these out on Mondays, you know, henceforth, uh, you know, the Monday Motivation. Um, kick to it, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not really putting that whole Monday Motivation um, in the title or description or anything like that because well you know what i mean like i said you guys watch this anytime sometimes you guys watch this over and over again and uh you know again the more i'm doing these the more i realize um i gotta keep making them because you guys you know and i just love them um but need them you know uh and so i'm just gonna keep making them all right I, i'm just a little too windy let me uh coil up my uh my thing here real quick here i'll, I'll show you where i'm at so you can see where i'm at in case you guys are curious um we're at the beginning of paseo montejo you know some of you guys that know where i am you know some of you guys that don't um and we're gonna be walking down paseo montejo today as um i gotta go you know run a few errands as usual and i said you know what let me uh, get my walk in let me get my little exercise let me uh let me sacrifice myself a little bit let's put a little sacrifice in there in order to just make uh everything a little better you know whether it's my life um, this video um, and I could go on and on and so that's what we're gonna be talking about today sacrifice you know what I mean you know everyone out there everyone out there wants to do all kinds of awesome things and great things and all that good stuff but are you willing to put that sacrifice um, that's necessary that's needed in order um, in order for you to get to where you need to get you know in order for you to achieve your dreams and all that good stuff you know the reason we're talking about sacrifice today is because I remember man I want to say about a year ago actually uh one of my really 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 good friends of mine that it's most likely not watching this right now um he he was just telling me about you know how much sacrifice i went through you know um in order to you know be where i'm at right now and that you know back then even him as a really really good friend of mine was concerned because the amount of sacrifice I was putting in was so much more than what I was getting back. But at the end of the day, I knew what I was doing. And I knew that it was going to be worth it. And sure enough, it was. And, uh, you know, that's why I've, uh, you know, continued down this path. And I encourage you guys. You know to also come down this path of uh, of sacrifice you know what i mean um and sacrifice comes in uh, many many aspects it really does and um a lot of it is pretty self-explanatory to tell you the truth you guys pretty much know this already um but the reality is is that most people just don't want to go through with it whatever it is whatever it is man you know um right now the reason I'm out here on Paseo Montejo and doing this video and doing what I'm doing today is because I'm sacrificing myself a little bit. I'm, I'm wasting a little extra money. I'm doing a little extra effort into making this video. And I'm going to be honest with you, it has nothing to do with you or the production quality or nothing like that. It's just basically because I've, I've talked about it before in my other channel and in my other episodes, uh, you know, that I've had a few, you know, stalkers and I've had a few fucking weirdos and a bunch of, you know, that whole situation. And it is what it is. So now, in order for me, you know, uh, first of all, I learned my lesson, you know, from failure. Um, as we've talked before, we're going to bring that up again. But at the end of the day, now I know that in order for me to, I don't know, have something that I want, a.k.a. a little bit of privacy, um, I need to sacrifice something a little more. And, uh, you know, some people could look at this as like, oh, it's not fair that I have to now put in this sacrifice to do, continue doing what I'm doing. But then at the same time, you could look at it where, where it's like, wow, I'm in a lucky enough position in which I can sacrifice, okay? Um, and this sacrifice is uh, beneficial to everybody. And again, this is, you know, earlier today, you know what I mean? Before I even made this video, I was uh, visiting a friend, you know, we we're doing some, uh, some, uh, some work together, whatever. And um, basically, 
you know, she she was reminding me of uh, how important these Monday motivations are to her, and uh, and it, it's a, a re constant reminder as to how these motivational videos are important to a lot of people. And so now, I'm in a position I want to be in, okay, which is in a in a, in a position of uh, responsibility for not just myself, my actions, my life, but everyone else out there, and um, that helps me you know vibe a little bit better with the world that helps me you know want to i don't know just do things that i want to do even more because it's like you know what I, I say it all the time you know one thing is you know uh doing it for yourself and just you 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 but the real 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 pleasure in life is uh being able to help others and give to others and give 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 you hear it all the time you hear it all the time that's why i'm constantly giving i'm constantly giving for many reasons you know, I, I constantly give because again, it feels good to give. It really just does, you know what I mean? Whatever it is I'm giving, you know, like uh, I feel a lot of times and you know, things like this are a million times way more uh, valuable than, than money or some opportunity. You know what I mean? When I can just give you the tools, you know, uh, on how to create your own opportunity, which is what I try to do. Why teach a man? I mean, what is it? Why, te why give a man a fish when you can teach him how to fish, right? Yeah, something like that. But anyways, so that's what I try to do. And uh, now that I have a more perspective on what I'm doing myself, in which case it's, uh, you know, putting in sacrifice um, so that others can benefit from it. But this sacrifice that in turn is also helping me in many ways. Um, you know, it, it's something that, that I'm, you know, I have to be, you know, you have to be 100% aware of everything that you're doing and why you're doing it. And so this is no different, you know, honestly. And so are you, that's why like everybody has to sacrifice. We're constantly sacrificing. It's, it's, we, we know that. But the, the, the main question is, is that like, or the main problem that a lot of people have is that whole sacrifice. You know, a lot of times people don't think it's worth it or they think to themselves, oh my God, I'm sacrificing this, this or that. And, uh, it's not paying off the dividends that I want and so on and so forth, you know? And that's because, again, it's all about, you know, the priorities and it's all about, you know, all these other things that are not in play, in place, you know, meaning if you're sacrificing something you don't want to sacrifice, well, again, you got to ask yourself the question and be honest with yourself and say why you're doing that. And as simple as that. So let me explain to you. A lot of you guys out there, you know, I don't want to get too deep into this subject but it just happens to be the subject of the day so I might as well tackle it because it makes perfect sense a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are sacrificing yourself by putting on the mask getting the jab following orders doing all of that good stuff you know what I mean everything a good daddy government or good daddy authority is telling you to do and you're basically doing it you're sacrificing yourself you're virtual signaling and sacrificing yourself your comfort, your everything, your everything, so that other people can get the perception, all right, that you are a better person. When in reality, when in reality, the real sacrifice, all right, that people are making that no one's talking about is the sacrifice of not wearing it, saying no to the jab, saying no to these things, and standing up for your right to choose whatever that is and um you know we are seeing this you know what i mean that right now that whole sacrifice thing everybody's sacrificing but everybody's choosing what they want to sacrifice depending on what's important to them so if if, uh, other, if what other people think is more important to the person then they sacrifice by putting on the mask and by fucking getting 30 jabs with all the boosters and all that shit but if what's more important to the person is things like freedom their family health you know all of the those those other things and all of a sudden you see them acting like i act all right meaning i'm taking care of my health i'm making sure others are taking care of their health that i love and so on and so forth you know and so on and so forth that, and that includes not wearing the thing that includes not getting an experimental thing that includes many of the things that i do and yes it comes with a tons of sacrifice what i mean again have you seen everyone walking around me and how they i mean they already look at me weird and i'm already the weirdo here for many reasons bruh but i digress you know what i mean it's even more um 
of a thing when, again, everyone around you is acting a certain way or doing a certain thing and you are the one that's going in the opposite direction. You know, you're the one that's sacrificing, you know, um, in order to get what you want to get. The most people are not willing to sacrifice, you know. Again, so I'm bringing that example because with that example comes, you know, you can, you can do it for everything and anything. You know, so many people out there constantly complaining, you know, complaining about, you know, so many things and opportunities when in reality they have tons of opportunity. They got tons of uh, chances. They got so much that others just don't have and the ones that don't have it are making things happen and the ones that have it all are just complaining and saying you know woe is me why why am i not getting this why am i not getting that and and uh you know all of this stuff that you know i'm sure you're pretty pretty aware of already and so like the best way you know in fact i i saw this earlier today you know kind of like trying to figure out you know what i'm going to be talking about today um which is a little gary v clip so I think I'm just gonna pop it in right here, all right? Because we still got a ways to walk and I think it's probably more appropriate if I just stick them in here. So let me stick in uh, the whole Gary Vee thing right here and we'll go from there. We do not live in an accountable world right now. Everything is somebody else's fault and we need to recorrect that because when you think somebody else controls shit, you're unhappy. Right. I'm happy because I don't think Instagram owns me. I think I own Instagram. Damn right. The second oh, you think no. Instagram owns you, you're like, fuck, the machine, the yeah. fucking, you know, the government, the, the people get fucking on tilt, my parents. Like, people shit on their parents in my DM. I reply simply, are, are you taking money from them? Yeah, but. I'm like, no, yeah, but. Do not shit on your parents if you're on their fucking payroll. Yeah. If you're 26 and your parents pay for your Uber, you can't <laughs> say shit about them. Shut the fuck up. I love it. My fuck parents me. are making me do, I'm like, Move, move the fuck out of your home. But how do I live? I'm like, live shitty. Yeah. Either live cozy on your parents' rules because they pay for that shit, or live shitty with your three homies and not in Hoboken, in Harrison, in a shittier apartment because that's what you can afford. People are like, no, but Gary Vee, like, people got mad at me yesterday because I said some shit like, if you, as long as your parents are paying, you're not a man. No, oh, people got hurt. He's like, oh fuck. My parents pay for my Equinox. Like, you know, like, 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 Equinox membership. You know, like, like people, are, people are out here trying to like act like they're somebody. They're like a fucking startup CEO on Instagram, but their mommy's paying for their fucking Uber or their fucking apartment, and they're mad when their parents are like, "Yo, maybe you should give up on on your startup and maybe go to law school." And they're like, "Fuck you, mom. You don't trust my dreams, motherfucker. You got dreams. Pay for your own fucking dreams. Yeah. And if your, your parents are paying for your life." Follow what the fuck they want. You better go to fucking school. As I was editing, I realized I needed to explain the analogy. So right now, everyone that's complaining, no matter what your age, um, you're complaining like a teenager, a 26 year old, what have you, okay? If you're that age, it's totally fine. If you're not, what's the excuse? And um, the whole parent right here, that would be big daddy government or your career, job, what have you. You know, whatever that is, okay? Whatever supports you in the same manner parents would support a child, an overgrown child. Hope that makes sense. Because my theory is like, if I've got 800 balls in the air, and let's actually make it real. If I've got 44 balls in the air, I'm okay with seven breaking, because A, I don't give a fuck about your judgment on those L's, and that's the big one. And two, I still got 37 balls in the air, and that's how I like to juggle. Other people are type A, really, they just enjoy one thing, head down. There is no right answer. The reason I said it's a bullshit that you need seven, you don't need seven streams of income. You could. There's a fuck. So if you enjoy it, bro, be happy. As long as you can deal with the judgment that when you talk shit that your fucking burger business was gonna kill it, but then it was one of the things that dropped because you were worried about something else, as long as you can deal with those L's, then just make yourself happy. That's what I do. I'm not worried if my wine or my case list or this, I'm not worried what fails. The fuck does that have to do with you judging my L's? This is about having a relationship with losing. The amount of insecurity that's out there is absurd. People are scared about losing. To who? Who the fuck are you scared of losing to? What's gonna happen? Your mom is gonna call you and be like, you're a fucking loser, I told you. You should have been a nurse. Who cares to say, fuck you, mom? I'm on some serious shit right now. What, who? Who's gonna tell, whose loss is it besides yours? Because I'm promising you something right now, my dear. 
the number one thing every fucking person in here should be worried about is regret. You want some real poison? You want some shit that really hurts? Wait till you get to 80 and you regret that you didn't fucking try. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad uh, Gary V uh, always joins me on these uh, videos. Uh, shout out to him. He always, uh, sometimes he puts it into perspective and uh, uses w uh, words that I can't or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's good to do a little tag team. Um, instead of just putting him in at the end of the show, uh, I like it this way, you know, where I'm integrating him, him in, the, in the middle of the whole thing. So anyways, but you know, to pony the piggyback off of everything he was just saying there, you know, that's the thing. And I mean, everyone out there, you know, um, in order for you to really, you know, be a badass, in order for you to really achieve the things that you got to achieve, in order for you to do all of these things that you want to do, whatever the hell that is, you got to sacrifice, man. Look, man, look, honestly, I don't consider myself a badass. I just consider, well, I, I kind of do a little bit, you know what I mean? But whatever, that's because I'm fully aware of what I've done and what I do. Like but look, like sorry, <laughs> honestly, you know, too much honesty, right, sometimes. No, but look, the reality is, is this, you know, um, there was a good portion of my life when I wasn't a badass and I was just a dumbass loser and um, I didn't want that out of my life and I wanted to be a, a badass and so I did everything humanly possible to be a badass. Now, I, I kind of consider myself like a regular dude, a regular guy, um, but uh, almost everyone I know for the most part that is a fan likes the things that I do. Oh man, they, they consider me a super ultimate badass. And the thing is, it's that the only reason they consider me a badass is only because of what I've done. That's it. And um, and that's what I keep reminding people is like, you can also do it. You can do it. Do it. You can also be part of it. You can also do it. So just so, do it. Make your Exactly, like he just said there, you see? He should just, just do it. Do it. <laughs> so, you know, again, again, you know what I mean? That's why I, I do a lot of the things that I do. Um, this is my way of giving back. Because I remember a good portion of my life, you know, where I was lost, where I thought that, you know what I mean, I could never achieve any kind of dream. I could never get to, you know, do the things that I wanted to do and just all of this crazy stuff. And now I've, I've gotten there, you know what I mean? I've gotten everything I've always wanted and then some, and I'm, I'm continuing to build and create and make and, and, and do all this stuff. And um, I want to give back. And so to me, like, there's a lot of ways that people can give back. But in this case, I feel that the best way that I can give back is to help you guys by teaching you or motivating you or showing you or pushing you or getting you to the point, all right, that I got to, how I got to X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? And so, because a lot of you guys just want to get here and don't know how to get here and then realizing that it's very, very, very simple. Hola. No, no, muchas gracias. See, look, that guy's a go-getter. That guy knows what's up. You know, he, he, he didn't care what I was doing the video. He wanted to, you know, get his uh, sale on, get on camera, whatever. You know what I mean? He got it. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. You just got to go get it. You know what I mean? You got to sacrifice. You know what I mean? And that sacrifice, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you're out there getting it, I mean, that is the sacrifice because, you know, again, you know what I mean? A lot of people might be looking at that guy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, kind of wrong, cockeyed, whatever. That guy's just trying to make a sale. That guy's just trying to get on, on TV. That guy's just trying to whatever. You feel me? And he don't care. And no one's gonna care. You feel me? That's the thing too. It's like, it's all about all these things that so many, the reason most people do not sacrifice, besides being lazy, you know what I mean? Because that's basically it. But besides being lazy, it's, it's because of what other people think. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? Like that's why people don't sacrifice or don't do what they need to do. It's only because of what other people fucking think. So that's why they always say, or like one of the best traits to kind of have, I, I guess, you know what I mean? According to people's, <laughs> is not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck, and not, you, this is why. Because when you don't give a fuck, sacrifice is extremely easy because you're not worried about what anyone has to say. Period, end of story. And as you become a success, you care even less. You care even less about what they have to say. And the more you become a success, well, they just become insignificant. And so that's the point, you know what I mean? That is basically it there, you know what I mean? It's, it's besides being lazy, because that's a major part of it. But the other thing is caring what people think. A lot of people out there, you're, you're willing to work, sacrifice, you know, to do all that shit, you know, to do it, like put in that work, but you're not, you, you, you know, that what people, what other people think is so paralyzing that you can't, you can't get, you know, you can't even move a few steps. 
Now, some of you guys don't give a fuck about anything, but then you're too lazy. And that's the other fucking thing. But we're not talking about lazy here. We'll talk about that in another episode, another motivation. We're talking about, again, just the simple fact of that you can't, you know, you, the reason that you are where you are is because you care too much about what other people think. The minute you stop caring so much about what other people think, all right, and use them more like a tool, you know what I mean? Instead of, uh, you know, worrying about them, but use them exactly what they are. They're just NPCs, they're just characters. They're just, you know, you're in the matrix and all these things around you, all these people around you, they don't, they might as well, I mean, I, I was tempted to, to poke him, you know what I mean? To see if he was like a, an image or something, but I probably was gonna get punched in the face. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, take it as close to crazy as, as possible. But at the end of the day, it's like this, man, it's all here. And so whatever it is, is always all here. And you see how I act a fool all around me and no one even cares. If anything, they're laughing, they're enjoying themselves, they're entertained. And this took a long time to get here. In order for me to be this, a clown, okay, like literally, okay, it took a lot of sacrifice, all right? A lot of failure, all right? A lot of work. And um, I'm not gonna fucking make any bones about it. Again, it's all, it's all in my videos. Watch my early videos. Watch my early content and you can see for yourself. All right, I gotta, you know, do something here at the ATM. Once I'm done, we're gonna finish this episode off as we continue our walk towards Walmart. So see you guys in a minute, all right? So you see, man, I sacrifice too. I gotta deal with the bank. I gotta put on a mask when I don't want to. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta sacrifice, you know what I mean, a little bit um, in order to get what I really want. And it's totally fine. It's totally fine. You know, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? Uh, am I gonna start causing a, a, a ruckus or some sort of, a, you know, you know, a situation, you know, and start arguing with an employee that gets paid a few pesos, you know, just to do a little cleaning? No, no. And so that's the thing, you know what I mean? It's all about, you know, the sacrifices that I, I tell you guys that you got to do, they all got to be congruent with uh, your mission, with what you're trying to do, with uh, your lifestyle, with your everything. And so, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about picking your battles. It's about picking your sacrifices and making sure that whenever you're sacrificing anything is to get you to your goal. And it's as simple as that. So if you're sacrificing eating uh, a donut, you know, so that you can uh, lose a little weight um, so it can get you to that goal, all right, um, that you were trying to get to, um, don't kill that sacrifice by later on eating two donuts. You feel me? That kind of stuff. Don't, don't, uh, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. And so, look, at the end of the days, it's like this, guys. You know, it really all comes down to the fact that, like, you know, I know, sorry about that stupid uh, one minute little rant there that made no sense on anything. Probably does once I edit it. Bruh. At the end of the day, it's like I was saying earlier, man. It's all about not caring what other people think. Um, before, I used to care a lot more about what other people think. And then when I realized that these opinions and these thoughts didn't pay the bills, these opinions and these thoughts weren't doing anything for me. And um, I got to the point where I really did not give a fuck anymore. Um, I don't wanna say got to the point where I was cynical because that's where I'm at now, um, seeing everything that's happening around me. Um, you know, I'm very nice. I'm very positive, optimistic. I'm all this other stuff, but I'm already at a point in my life where I got no mercy, you know what I mean? I mean, I've always kind of been that way, but I really, really got no more mercy, you know, um, dealing with NPCs, zombies, whatever. And so, I, I mean, I treat them, you know, like I've said many times before, I feel like we're at the end of the movie, um, uh, Shaun of the Dead. You should watch that movie for more context, but spoiler alert, at the end of the movie, in case no one's seen it, spoiler alert, um, the people are basically living with the zombies and the zombies are just basically like doing low level jobs and that's it, you know what I mean? And then just living in a world with, and so like, it's like, oh yeah, okay, that's, that's, that makes sense. That's where we're at now. You know, we just got a bunch of low level, low brain wave, low whatever people um, hanging around, doing their thing and um, lingering around, you know, um, that whole thing. And um, I, I can't, I don't, I, how can you feel sorry or bad or anything for a zombie? A zombie's like some thing that's already dead and it's already like whatever. And like, I don't know, man. So to me, it's like, that's the way I kind of look at it. And so it helps me a lot more with the things that I'm doing, you know, whether, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're noticing if you watch the rest of my channel, if you see the other things that I'm doing, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing more, but I'm also, I'm only, look, I'm already, I'm already at a point where again, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I mean, I'm here to help those who want to be helped. That's it. I got no time to save nobody. You know, anyone that wants that help, I'm here to give it. Any, I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not here to, you know, to, to alert anybody. I'm not here to do any of that shit anymore. I'm just not, because we're already way past that point. 
We're past that point. You know that. Um, right now, it's a time for action. And so if you don't want to take action or you don't want to whatever, I, I, I got no time for you. Uh, now, if you're in in the middle of taking action, if you're doing stuff, if you're making it happen, if you're in the process, if you're whatever, hey, man, I'm here. You know what I mean? That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and I'm continuing to sacrifice now for the greater good because now I see that there's a lot more people that are willing to start, they're doing something about it and um, whatever the reason as to why they're at this point, it doesn't matter. The, the point is, is that a lot of people are waking up, a lot of people are, just, are realizing that they got to do something about whatever they're doing it and I'm here to help them in whatever capacity I can help them. All right? But again, I'm, I'm past, you know, um, doing, you know, certain videos in which I am, uh, in which I am, uh, what you, I don't know, I have people wave at me, they love me, I don't know. Bruh. Anyways, <laughs> the point I'm making, I'm already past the point, I'm trying to convince anybody, or trying to, you know, um, wake anybody up, or trying to do anything like that, I honestly don't give a shit anymore, you know what I mean, because the, the one real thing I've realized, and you're still, and you're realizing yourself, people don't listen. That's why I give everything away from for, for free. No one cares, no one listens. People want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And so why am I going to ruin that for them? You know what I mean? Like, that's it, you know what I mean? So, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm done wasting my time in that sense, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, I'm not here to, to convince anybody to do anything, you know what I mean? You do whatever you want to do, and uh, that's it, you know what I mean? And so, I'm here, you know, trying to help people, you know, jump, you know, get over certain humps, you know, do certain things. And, um, and I, I mean, I love it. I love it. I, I mean, I love the fact that I get to do what I do, but as the things get crazier and crazier and crazier every single day, there's more and more of you reaching out to me for all kinds of things. And I got less and less time to deal with people that still haven't even, you know, gotten off the couch or they still care about what Karen says or what Jim says. Like, come on, get out of here. I don't got time for any people like that. I don't, you know what I mean? I just don't, you know what I mean? And uh, and it's, it's you know, once they, once people, once they get their shit together and they're ready to rock and roll, I'm here. And that's it. But at the end of the day, you know what? It doesn't really matter because most of these things that I do are online and, you know, you can freely and willingly uh, see me or not see me. Anyways, all right. I think I gotta go. The heat is already frying my brain and uh, I gotta, I gotta go pick up a few things and I gotta get back home so I can edit this and upload it and I got a bunch of other things I gotta do. You already know. We're back to being busy because it's a lot of things to do. Got a long life to live and a, a big legacy I wanna leave behind. Actually, I don't. I really don't care about any of that either. Okay, anyways. <laughs> right, sometimes a uh, little truth slips out here and there, huh? Who the fuck knows? All right. All right, guys, so with that said, you already know what's up. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday, and I'll see you guys on Saturday, and I'll see you guys on Monday on this channel. And then on the other channel, I'm there on other days, and other days on the other channel, and all the links are down below. Click on the links, go to the places, help me out. See you later. Bye.